Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is going to be a pretty short video today because as you can see, I don't have a very big haul to share with you guys, but I still wanted to show it to you. Uh, this was from a rummage sale I went to um, last week, a little south of here, right over the border in, uh, in Pennsylvania. Uh, Wendy had a family thing going on, so she couldn't come, so I was basically the scout since neither one of us had ever been to this one. Um, it turned out to be pretty good. Uh, it was small. I didn't find much, but the prices were phenomenal. Um, two of these things are from a thrift store that I also went to while I was down that way, so I'll show you that in a minute. But everything else cost me a whopping total of seven dollars and 25 cents so can't go wrong would i go to it again yes if there's nothing else bigger going on i definitely would because you know you never know if the prices are that cheap um you just might strike gold at one of those little sales so let me start by showing you the embroidery kits that i got i got this elsa williams Greenhead Mallard Needlepoint. Uh, it has been started. But that was 50 cents. And then this companion piece was also next to it. This one is completely finished. So I'm going to sell these two together. Again, this was 50 cents. So for a dollar, I'm thinking I can probably get about 20 at least. Maybe a little more for the pair. Over here, it's hard to show you a picture of what these are because they don't come with a picture but this is um, a pair of Paragon Needlecraft cruel kits one is I think the yeah, one is the spring picture and one is the fall so there's one tucked in here whoops my finger out of the way there's one tucked in here on green fabric that's the spring picture this is the fall picture again I paid a quarter for each of them uh, even without a photo of the finished product because they are vintage and they're Paragon which are popular kits I'm thinking again I should probably get around 20 maybe 15 to 20 at least um, in their seasonal department I couldn't find any Christmas unfortunately but did find two little Easter figurines, which I thought were adorable. This little girl bunny. And this little boy. Kind of look like grandma and grandpa. They have some age to them. They have a Woodward and Lothrop John Wanamaker tag on the bottom of them. So that's from a while ago. No maker's mark. They are very thin porcelain, so I got to be careful with them. Um, but for the pair, I'm hoping for about twenty to thirty dollars on those. I found this little ornament for fifty cents. This is a Virginia Metal Crafters Williamsburg cipher ornament, a Queen Anne cipher ornament. Uh, I paid 50 cents and this should sell for around 15 to 20. And in the knickknack section, I found this adorable little glass kitten. This is a Fenton piece. It's hard to see, but there is that little oval mark right there on the back of him. He was also 50 cents. Um, maybe 20 to 30 on him. And for $3, this was my most expensive purchase at the sale, I found this Schmid Sneezy Music Box from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It plays um, Whistle While You Work. And since it has the box with it, I believe I can get about $25 plus shipping. And then, of course, I had to buy some coffee mugs. Back here is another Taylor and Ning mug. Uh, a few videos back I showed you guys one of these that had dogs on it. 
This is from their Minimals line back in 1984. So I found the moose themed one. That should go for around 10 plus shipping. And this one I just thought was beautiful. It's very heavy. The metal base and um, all these enamel flowers make this a very sturdy mug. Uh, this is from Arc, A-R-C, in France. And if my daughter doesn't decide to uh, take this one for herself, this one will go for, again, probably around 10 plus shipping. But my best mug there was this one. As soon as I saw it, I didn't even have to turn it over. I knew it was anthropology. I've sold these before. Uh, these are from a designer named Elka Ayaka. Don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but there's a bunch of them on eBay. And usually when you uh, create the title for these, most of them have Twisted Handle in the title. It's Elka Ayaka Twisted Handle Anthropology Footed, possibly hand-painted coffee book. Uh, these sell really well. This alone should make about 20 to 25 plus shipping. So not bad for a $7.25 purchase. And when I left there, I realized that there was a 2nd Avenue thrift store only about 10 to 15 minutes away. And it's a big one. So I wanted to take a ride over there and see if I could find anything. I think the last time I was there was back in July when they had a 50% off the entire store sale, which I don't think they've had since. They've had 50% off sales, but they've all been clothing and shoes, and I don't do that, so I don't have a reason to go down there. But on this particular day, since it was so close, I wanted to take a chance and make a quick run through there and I did find a couple things. I got this mug and I thought when I looked at it it was either Dutch wax or anthropology and when I turned it over I did see that it was Dutch wax. I hadn't seen these monogram mugs before. They don't seem to sell nearly as well as the, um, the regular Dutch wax mugs but I'm still gonna give it a shot. I couldn't pass it up it was only 99 cents. Uh, so maybe 10 on that. And my best find was on the one wall. You know, they have all the bags full of stuff, just like Savers does in some of those other thrift stores. And they always have one section that's all completely silverware. The last time I was there, I found some nice um, bamboo-style wood-handled flatware there that does well. So I got that last year at the 50% off sale and wanted to take another look and when I looked this time around I scored this set. They're very modernist and these are from I don't know if you can see that but it says Reed and Barton on the back. I found out the pattern name is Telluride and I found six forks, six knives and six soup spoons. The soup spoons are huge. I have a very big mouth to eat with these soup spoons. Um, these were originally five dollars a bag, but I lucked out because they all had yellow tags, and yellow tags that day were fifty percent off. So I paid seven dollars and fifty cents for a total for these three sets, and I. Shouldn't have a problem getting at least 60, maybe up to 70, 75 for this set. So not too bad for a whopping, um, what did I pay? 15, like 16, 17 bucks for everything on this table. And this little mug should pay for everything on its own and then everything else will be profit. So that is it guys. I'll be back in my next video with another rummage sale haul. There was a big one on Saturday. Um, it's a very big sale. Unfortunately, I didn't find as much as I thought I would, but I found one like 
holy grail item that I've been looking for for a while and I couldn't even believe the price. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. So thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.